This video will cover the topic, inverse functions, linear discrete. Let's begin by taking a look at the problem we will be working through. This problem presents itself in two parts. Let's take a look at part one first. We are given g equals the points negative 1, 6, 2, 5, 5, 1, 8, 9, and 9, negative 4. And we are asked to find g inverse of 9. What exactly is an inverse function? Great question. An inverse function is a function that reverses another function. If the function f applied to an input x gives a result of y, then applying its inverse function, g to y, gives the result x, and vice versa. In other words, to find the inverse of a function, we switch the variables x and y, and we solve for y. Let's start out by looking at g and finding g inverse. To find g inverse, we switch the x and y values of the coordinate points. We see that negative 1, 6 became 6, negative 1, and 2, 5 became 5, 2, and so on. Now to find g inverse of 9, we look at the x value 9 and find the corresponding y value. What is the corresponding y value for the x value 9? It looks like the corresponding y value is 8. That's exactly right. Let's take a look at the second half of the problem. We are given h of x equals 4x minus 9. Here h of x equals y, which means that y is a value dependent on the variable x. We are asked to find h inverse of x and h inverse of h of 4. In this part, we aren't given a list of ordered pairs, but instead we are given an equation for the function h of x. How do we go about solving this problem? Actually, we go about solving this problem in a very similar way. To find g inverse, in the first part of the problem, we switch the x and y values. In the same way, to find h inverse in this part of the problem, we switch the variables x and y and solve for y. Since h of x equals y, let's substitute y into the equation. Now we can switch the values x and y, and the result is x equals 4y minus 9. Now we solve for y. We add 9 to both sides of the equation, and the result is x plus 9 equals 4y. Finally, we divide both sides of the equation by 4, and the result is y equals x plus 9 over 4. Now that we have switched x and y and solved for y, we have found h inverse of x. h inverse of x equals x plus 9 over 4. Now that we have found h inverse of x, we can compute h inverse of h of 4. We could calculate h of 4 and substitute this value into the h inverse function, but this work is not necessary. The composition of a function with its inverse always gives us an output equal to the input. This means that h inverse of h of x equals x and h of h inverse of x equals x. Here our x value is 4, so what would our answer be? Well, if h inverse of h of x equals x, and our given x value is 4, our answer would be 4. That's right. Now you've successfully found g inverse of 9, h inverse of x, and h inverse of h of x. All right, so let me see if I have this all straight. If we are given a list of ordered pairs to find the inverse, we switch the x and y values. If we are given an equation representing a function to find the inverse, we switch the variables x and y and solve for y. Finally, as a general rule to remember, h inverse of h of x equals x, and h of h inverse of x equals x. That's exactly right. Great work.